Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the early fall in Illinois. It is super windy out here, but that's not gonna keep me from doing some disc reviews. So last week, uh, the folks over at Divergent Discs sent me a couple of their new products. They sent me their Divergent Discs Max Performance Starter Set, and then they sent me a couple of these Alpas, this, the kind of rubbery uh, stay put plastic is what they call it, um, or stay put. These are their putt and approach discs. So a little bit about Divergent if you haven't heard about them. Uh, they are a really new disc golf company designed um, specifically for beginner to early recreational players. They um, make it pretty clear that most disc golf companies cater towards the better players and they want to grow the sport by catering to uh, the newer crowd. I think that could also extend to younger and older crowd, people who don't have uh, as much arm speed. Um, so in this video, I'm only going to review the starter set. And um, I have two quick disclaimers to get out of the way. First off, these discs were sent to me for free for review. Uh, that's not going to make me biased towards these discs, but I did just want to share that with you. Um, the next thing is that these discs are not exactly designed for my kind of demographic. These discs are designed for people who are a little bit newer than me. Um, so I'm going to try to compensate for that in this review, but I also think that um, some of these discs could lend themselves pretty well towards anybody's bag. And so I will also be showing how these discs could work for someone more in the intermediate range. So um, yeah, let me just jump into this. So this starter set comes with three discs, comes with a distance driver, the Basilisk. This is a 12 speed, five glide, negative four turn, one fade distance driver. Um, super domey, if you can tell it's like the domiest disc i've ever felt and it's got this really flat wing so this thing is going to be pretty understable um, but for newer people with slower arm speeds this is going to give you a whole lot more distance than another disc so at least that's what uh, divergent is claiming so really awesome artwork on it uh, so that's the basilisk basilisk uh, the mid-range is the copre this is a five speed five glide negative one turn one fade mid-range this is the most stable disc that they've created so far according to um, the website it's got this really hop top to it it's kind of domey but uh, it feels pretty good in the hand um, and then the last one is the nuno and this is the putter it's a three speed four glide negative one turn one fade um, also really sick artwork and this disc actually came out super cool it's got like a, a darker blue swirl effect in the lighter blue so uh, those are the discs let me pick them back up again so um, obviously in a starter set you're looking for two main things you're looking for affordability and um, durability i think that if you have a dx starter set for instance those discs are going to beat in really quickly and if you're a beginner and you're just starting to get used to the discs and they start flying differently that's going to be really frustrating and it could make you want to get out of the sport these plastics are a lot more durable than dx plastics they're um they've got a whole lot more flex to it i've uh, tested these out a little bit and i've hit some trees and so far all i'm seeing is some minor scuffing that you might also see on star plastic so this plastic is a whole lot more durable than dx plastic uh, as for the affordability, I believe that these are $25, uh, which is on par with a lot of the other starter sets, but remember that the other starter sets are using really, really baseline um, plastic that's not as durable as these. So for what you're getting, the value is actually really good. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is comfort. How well do these fit in the hand? Because that's another big thing. Uh, the Basilisk with its dome and wide rim doesn't fit great in my hand, um, but it's just like any other 12 speed, you know, they're not really that comfortable. They're meant for distance, um, but the dome does make it a little bit weird in my hand. The Copre fits really great and uh, the Nuno also feels really great. So these discs, they look great, they feel great. Um, the question is, do they fly great? So I'm going to take them out to the field 
It is super windy, so that might affect how they throw. So I'm gonna to try to pick a spot where I have a little bit of a tailwind. That way they will also fly more like someone with a little bit of a slower arm speed would throw them as well. So let's hit the field and show you how these things fly. Okay, so we're at the field. I have the Max Performance starter set here and um, Divergent Discs says that most players consider 300 feet a really good throw. So I'm gonna try to aim for that 300 foot mark. The basket out there is at about 200 feet, so I'm gonna throw a little bit farther than the basket. See how these discs fly? So I'm trying to kind of lower the arm speed to match what Divergent Discs uh, claims is a really good throw for most players. So that should also uh, limit the instability of some of these discs and make it more um, make it look more like what most people will throw these discs at so i'm going to start with the basilisk and work my way through Okay, that was just beyond the basket, so that was maybe 220 feet. That disc put on a lot of highs there, flipped up to flat. All right, here's the copper. Ray. I think I could power up on this one a little bit more. Oh, look at that thing glide. That was pretty cool. That one definitely came close to the 300 foot mark. Now I've got the Nuno, a little bit of a headwind, more like right to left. Okay, so I put that on a lot of hyzer. It probably went about 25 to 30 feet behind the basket, maybe a little bit more. Um, that disc is more overstable right out of the box than uh, the flight ratings make it seem. So I'm gonna go over there, collect them, come back, uh, try to power up a little bit more on the driver and uh, throw the others again, then give you my final thoughts. All right, so after throwing these the first time, I went and ranged them. The Basilisk got 220 feet. I put that on a lot of hyzer, really light. It flipped up, went pretty straight. Um, 220 feet is a pretty good, uh, pretty good distance for the amount of effort I put into this. This next round, I'm going to put it on a lot more power, see how it would fly for people who are a little bit more advanced than um, a beginner. The Nuno was at like 245 feet. This disc uh, was a lot more overstable than the flight ratings make it seem. I'm going to go ahead and try to put this on a little bit flatter line this time so you can see how it flies when you throw it a little bit flatter. And then the Capre made it 296 feet. So this disc has the potential to be super glidey, lots of distance, uh, pretty stable. Um, I'm gonna put this on a little bit less power so you can see how it flies uh, for someone who might be a little bit more of a beginner. So I'm gonna put more power on this one flatter on the Nuno and a little bit less power on the copper. All right, Basilisk, lots of hyzer, lots of power. Okay, that was not fantastic. Copper, less power. I'm gonna throw flatter this time. All right, I'm gonna throw about the same amount of power, just flat with the Nuno. All right, so Basilisk did not handle the power really well. Uh, there also is kind of this weird swirling wind, so that could have played a huge role in it, but I put it so much hyzer and turned into a roller angle. Probably would have rolled a fair distance if it weren't for the tree. Capre, super great mid-range. That thing is super glidey, lots of distance, putting it on not a whole lot of power, and the Nuno still pretty overstable for what the flight ratings make it seem. So, uh, honestly, super good set. The driver doesn't fly well for me, but it wasn't designed for me. So I'm probably going to give that one to my dad and see how he does, how he does with that disc. It might fly a little bit more stable for him than it did for me. Um, but it's, it's definitely not usable for me. Um, so if you're a little bit more intermediate, 
Um, the basilisk is not going to be for you unless you want some sort of weird trick roller, get out of jail kind of disc. Uh, the copre, that thing is probably um, in the run to go into my bag, uh, in the running I should say. That disc is uh, super cool, feels really good. It's got a lot of glide and it's uh, not super flippy. So that one might be going into my bag. Um, the Nuno is one that also might make it into my bag. I don't throw a whole lot of approach putters. I have mostly like a zone, a tactic and a rat in my bag. Um, so I'm not sure how the Nuno would fit, but that disc is definitely uh, usable for me. And um, it's gonna be a little bit overstable for newer players but as a putter that really doesn't make a whole lot of a difference so uh, would I recommend the starter pack I would say definitely it's gonna last you a whole lot longer than a DX set uh, the discs are going to last you longer as you grow and I think that's the main thing Divergent really wants to do is grow the sport so uh, the putter is definitely a solid um, putter for someone of my skill maybe a little bit overstable for beginner players but all of those discs are super quality discs um, everyone's going to find a use for each one in some way the value is good go check them out i will leave a link in the description and you can go purchase those discs for yourself so thanks for watching this video guys uh, i hope you enjoyed it i'll show a couple clips here at the end of me throwing them in actual hole situations but after that this video is over so appreciate the views guys hit like and subscribe if you like this video and are interested in the review of the alpis which is coming soon so stay tuned for that thanks for watching see you in the next one